Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So I think I told you that I brought a new Dutch oven and I was dying to try it. Finally said, let me go ahead and do some things, right? So grab the chuck roast I had going on, seared it on all sides, pulled it out. Now I always say that I do not like cooking. I don't. I will order out in three hot seconds, but I know that is not always the healthier choice. So I try and um, I'm just getting all that good, good off the bottom, right? And them onions, yes. Oh, and this is the, you know, garlic, quick and fast. I try to be, I always say that um, a little beef broth. I knew I could have tossed in a little bit of wine, which I should have, but... <laughs> But I kept it simple, and yeah, so I did throw a little bit of seasoning in there, some Worcestershire <laughs> sauce, right? Threw some of that in there, put the roast back in, right? And let that, I let it come to a boil, and then I threw it into the oven for about an hour and a half, right? So in the meantime, remember the Walmart, you know, I'm going to go through here quick and fast. And I grabbed the thadonas, I mean the plantains to make the thadonas. Girl, I'm making them. So I just took the knife, right, cut it down the middle and then peeled it. Um, my husband, I know a few of you have asked me in the past. He is Puerto Rican. And so these rice and beans, I do the sazon and the sofrito, right? The tortones, that's all, you know, my husband going on. And guess what? He can't make not one thing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but I really did have a craving for it. Again, with the quick and fast, this is the brown rice that I love so much. Um, so just, you know, how you guys have seen me do the rice before, quick. So just a little bit of oil in the pan, right? I, I sliced them uh, lengthwise, like on an angle. I sliced them on an angle, getting them in here, right? I'ma toss them and then I'ma pull them out and I'ma smash them. Swinging like Natalie So yeah, just flipping them over and the rice just gets a packet of sasson in there, my adobo, um, and a little bit of sofrito. So yes on that. So I'm going to just pull them out real quick and I was able to get them all in there, but I won't be able to put them back once I smash them all at once. So I just took a Ray Dunn mug. I don't have a smasher. I don't know what the proper name is, but I just take a mug and smash them, right? Yeah, that one was hot. <laughs> Girl, oh my goodness. Your place is closer than mine. Why don't we go there and have some more wine? You know how you don't think of stuff to the last minute? I should have been doing that with the knife from the beginning. Oh my goodness. But yeah, those beans are looking really good. Just going to turn the heat off of that. That's good to go, and I'm going to drain the rice, you know, the water off, open it, put it in a bowl, I'll be good to go. So now these are going back in, and it's really quick. I mean, I'm flipping them within three minutes or so, you know what I mean? I don't want them to burn or anything, but I do want them nice and crispy. And once I pull them out, I will salt them down and throw a little bit of the garlic on top girl i'm gonna be good to go it's for living let's see where the sun might leave let's see where the sun might leave i just wanted to share this with you honestly just because i wanted to show off my new dutch oven that i'm so proud of and you guys always telling me some good good information in the comments tish if you do this or don't do this or you know i love it i love when you guys give me a little bit of feedback but let me taste this mm. Mm. girl y'all know the face you know the face <laughs> when I be showing you how I'm tasting stuff. It's just so good. Oh my goodness, girl. But let me open this. This is like an hour and a half later, right? 
I just flipped it over a little bit. So this is the Mediterranean mix or something that I grabbed from Aldi. It was perfect for me. It had like the potatoes and the, it just had all the stuff. And remember the green peppers I cut up um, in the last video? Well, I wanted to toss some of those in there. That wasn't in the mix. I wanted that. It's something about green pepper. That smell makes you people think you was just in there slaving for like, oh, my God, you've been up since 6 a.m. Girl, yes. But um, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. So I'm just, you know, breaking it up a little bit and I'm going to stick it back in the oven and just, you know, kind of just let it sit, wait for me to plate it up a little later and it was so good got the rice and beans right remember the mac and cheese the baked macaroni and cheese i made in the last video boom but here we go another meal this is a quick and fast video really I, like i said i just wanted to share but this is like a pasta dish still with the dutch oven i'm having so much fun with it like what was my life before I discovered this pot? Oh my goodness. So this is another quick and fast after work. You know, I'm tired and I was like dealing with a migraine the last few days. And girl, these things, they make me nauseous. It's like I got to wear sunglasses. <laughs> my head was hurting so bad. But that's when the quick and fast come in. So boom with the Dutch, right? I should have made the pasta in there to make it like one you know, a one pot meal, everything was in there, right? I wasn't thinking. Um, but yeah, these are the shrimps that I grabbed from Walmart. So um, they were raw, which I wanted. I did not want cooked shrimp um, because I feel like they're too chewy or something. But these were large and I'm just washing them off and taking those tips off. But um, after that, I'll be good to go. I got the oil and two sticks two sticks girl two tablespoons of butter you guys know i slice it up already so i just boom took a pat took another pat and i'm using my sack towel you know the ones i get from the dt to drain that water off i'm gonna throw some kinder seasoning i had going on and i did put a little bit of adobo that's it right there you know she always walked back and forth <laughs> while i'm in there um so yeah, I'm gonna throw the seasoning on, right? Not too much. You know how shrimp are. They, girl, I don't want my shrimp salty or anything. So dumping them in. And once I, you know, get all of this going, I realized that is not gonna be enough shrimp. Like I, you know what I mean? It's not meat. I needed more shrimp. So I did end up using the other bag. But Salt in the water, right? Gonna throw my rigatoni in there. I thought that with this sauce will be like really good. So yes on that. Waking up to a brand new day. Girl, I'm, I'm flipping them. I just didn't feel like grabbing a tongs. I was just trying to be quick with it. So yeah, girl, I was just flipping them. But yeah, what are you eating tonight? Do you cook dinner every single night? Is there a night that you just are like, you know, we're going to order out or we're going to have leftovers? Leftovers does not go well in my home. Um, I will eat leftovers for lunch, but for the most part, I try to just cook enough because we like to switch it up. So yeah, but I was just wondering, do you take a break? Like, I don't cook on Wednesdays. Fridays, I don't. And what is my other day? I feel like Saturday either. So I try to cook at least four days out of the week. And yeah, it works out, I feel like. I'm wondering if you have, you know, a day that you take off or are you always in the kitchen? So I'm going to leave the good good in there from cooking the shrimp and just throw the sauce right in. I had some tomato basil, I feel like that's what that was. And then I wanted to throw the Alfredo in with it, which is something I have never done. But my hubby is not big on 
Alfredo, he'll eat it, but he's not really a big fan. So I said, you know what? I'm going to mix it. And it just made it so much creamier, that sauce. It was perfect. It was perfect for that rigatoni, them big fat noodles, right? So remember the leftover cheese I had from the baked macaroni and cheese? I used that. That was the mozzarella. Threw that in. Girl, I was cutting up because I don't cook. Like... <laughs> I don't consider myself a great cook. I really just do enough to get by. And I kind of want to go out of my comfort zone a little bit more. And you see what I did, right, with the noodles? I didn't want to put more noodles in that sauce than I needed to. Then I have all these noodles and not enough shrimp. So I put what we were going to eat in the bowls. And then I put a little bit more for my lunch. <laughs> But let's do this real quick. Girl, this is that glass I got from the DT. They are so pretty. And I have like the little bottles hubby will get me because I drink it more than he will. So that was perfect. Cheers on that. Girl, look at this. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to pack up some for lunch. Throw the parm on there. But that is it, you guys. Quick and fast, right? I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're going to be decorating the patio. I'm going to be pulling out the Halloween. So, yeah, stay tuned. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.